Hey everyone, hope you're all keeping safe. Today let's talk Unity Assets. Virtual reality development is kind of tough. There are a lot of stuff to consider when trying to start a brand new project, and there are a lot of things that you might not want to do from scratch. So for 2021, you should consider adding some simplicity to your life by taking a look at my top five favorite VR specific Unity Assets. Before we get into that, consider subscribing to my channel for some more VR specific development content. This channel is going to have tutorials, devlogs, and more discussions like this one in the future, so you do not want to miss out. So number five is VR UI Kit or VR Keyboard. VR UI Kit comes with very useful tools to create your own virtual reality user interface. They are super easy to add into your game or experience because there are already prefabs you can drag and drop into your Unity canvas. As you can see here in the demo, VR UI Kit comes with button prefabs, left to right arrow buttons to scroll through options, plus and minus signs UI elements that can be used to increase or decrease a value such as brightness. It has progress bars and pagination so you can switch to different pages of your UI and a bunch of other cool UI options you can mess around with. Although it's very useful for someone who doesn't want to waste too much time on Unity's frustrating UI system, VR UI Kit costs about $30, which is way too costly for what you get, in my opinion. What I did was I bought this asset during the Cyber Week sale in which the asset was 50% off or $15. This is probably the only time I would consider buying this asset. What you can do instead though, is just buy the sister asset VR keyboard, which is only $5. This keyboard is included within the VR UI kit, but I would say it's probably the hardest part to implement of the VR UI kit. So it's the best deal to buy separately. It's pretty useful to not have to implement your own keyboard system for VR. And it comes with word suggestions to help the user not have to type every single thing. I will definitely be using this keyboard for at least the alpha version of a game that I'm creating. So number four is fast mobile post processing. So this asset I would recommend in any case that performance is important. Mobile devices, AR, and of course, virtual reality. Unity comes with its own post processing system that is in fact better than this asset but the draw calls are just way too high. It's not reasonable to use a lot of these effects in a VR game. The next best thing is fast mobile processing. It has cool effects such as blur for speed or a fade away effect, bloom for lighting. It has image filtering for colors, vignette for a dash effect, contrast, brightness. It has gamma. Alpha, Beta, Omega, I mean, this thing has it all. And it's relatively cheap for 13 bucks. So yeah, check this asset out if you're looking for a fast alternative to the Unity post-processing stack. Number three is Auto Hand VR. Auto Hand VR will automatically configure your VR hands around the shape of the object that you're grabbing. It is completely physics based and includes effects such as weighted collision and breaking objects. So you can pick up the sandwich thing and then the fingers of your hands wrap around pretty nicely. Same thing with these bottles over here. You can also set a break force on the object, which will cause a custom animation you set up to play, which can simulate the object breaking. So with these tomatoes, if I grab them, they have a break force on it that will cause a break animation to play. You can also throw, then catch the objects. I find that it's kind of buggy sometimes when I try to grab something, but I think this asset has a great future ahead of it. So number two is VRIK. VRIK is part of the final IK Unity asset. If you don't know what IK is, it's inverse kinematics, which is a way to automatically calculate the joints and angles of the body without you having to manually animate them. 
Final IK is a collection of those inverse kinematic solutions for Unity created by Root Motion. It makes IK super easy in a lot of different use cases. We can do full body IK, arm IKs, look at, and aim IKs. What we're gonna talk about today is their solution, VR IK. Think of it as VR chat inside Unity. VR IK can automatically detect the bones of your 3D humanoid model, and then with several targets or effectors, VR IK will try to determine where it thinks your hands, legs, head, and other joints are in the body. It's the perfect full body tracking solution for VR. And number one, my favorite asset, VR Interaction Framework. My favorite asset is VR Interaction Framework because it is so incredibly useful at creating interactive objects that can be grabbed, thrown, and climbed. It is similar to what the Auto Hand VR provides without the automatic configuration of your hand around the object, you'll have to manually set a pose for each object that you grab. That's a con, but it makes up for the lack of the features with the countless other features like climbing, snap zones, final IK integration, and smooth locomotion. One major selling point is the demo scene that it gives you. Basically, anything you can think of doing in a VR game is already implemented for you to simply copy it to your game. Opening and closing doors, guns, bows and arrows, a grappling hook, slowing down time, hand jet. Did I mention climbing? VR Interaction Toolkit is basically the best starting point you can have for any VR game that you're creating. And for me, it was essential to get started with my game. So that's it for my top five Unity asset list. The link for all these assets are in the description. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. And also, if there's a VR Unity asset you think deserve to be on the list, leave a comment below. Or if you need some help setting up one of these assets, you can also leave a comment. Catch y'all in the next video.